Good morning, Ignite. I hope you're okay. Today, our story is all about a man called Paul, who we've been learning about. And he goes on a journey to a place called Ephesus, which is quite tricky to say. You might practice that at home. And this story is all about some people who were not worshipping God, but worshipping other things instead. And it's about a fight that happened because of that. It's a bit scary. It's not a scary story, though. And this week, you can hear the story or watch the story by clicking on one of the links below this video to tell the story. One of them is a cartoon. It is a little bit silly and a bit cheesy. And there is one that um, is a drawing. It's still a cartoon, but it's, it looks like people are drawing the pictures as they tell the story. And you can choose which one that you watch. So I'm going to let you go and watch that video now. And then we will come back and I will talk about the story really quickly. And we'll say a little prayer. So are you ready? Off you go. I hope you enjoyed that story. Welcome back, hopefully. So in that video there were some people who were making uh, models of a Greek goddess and her name was Artemis or Diana. Some videos say Artemis, some videos say Diana, but it's the same person. But when Paul and the Holy Spirit began to shine into the people's hearts, they realised that it was Jesus that they should be worshipping and not Diana or Artemis. And some people didn't like that and they were a bit bothered by it, weren't they? So can you remember what they did? That's right, they had a big fight. They started a big fight. But after they had this fight, people started to listen to the city clerk. And they, some of them realised that actually this wasn't the right thing to be doing. But that they needed to be worshipping God and Jesus and not their other gods. So that's what I want you guys to remember this week, that we need to make sure that we worship God and that we follow God, the one true God and Jesus Christ and not anything else. So I'm going to say a little prayer for you now and then I will see you again next week. Jesus, thank you that you are the one true God and thank you that you spent, sent the Holy Spirit to reveal that to us. And Lord, thank you for sending Jesus as well. Help us to remember that you are the one true God and that we should not follow anything other than you. And help us to remember that as we go into this week. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope you have a really good week and I will see you again soon. Bye bye now.